basically I just know that I shouldn't like give my ID to anyone else or anything like that. So I, I think that's something. And also I shouldn't open some random like emails for no reason and shouldn't give my information to anyone else. Depends on what I'm doing on the internet. I mean, I know about VPNs and tours and various <laughs> routines that you can use to protect yourself. But, you know, data nowadays is like the new gold or the new oil, especially for big countries. They want to know what you're doing, what you're thinking and why. I don't know much about cybersecurity, but as for protection my data, I have Google Authenticator. Basically, that's it. Uh, there were some cases in South Korea, so some personal information were exposed to others, but it didn't happen to me. That uh, it didn't happen to me, so I didn't care that much, and so I didn't take any measure so far. I don't know which files are okay to open and what which not, but maybe I just see if it looks shady, then I won't open it. None of them. <laughs> I don't know if I'm receiving an email from an unknown person, I generally wouldn't download files from them, especially if it's unknown. Otherwise, I would try and find out what they're, who they are before I decide to see if it's worth downloading. Then again, not that many people send me files. <laughs> Just uh, some text, maybe photos, but I would not never follow any link. Yeah, I think that's it. I think there is no safe file if it's uh, if it was sent by a known person? Well, I think it's like kind of safe, but then not. Like for example, I have experienced that when I use public Wi-Fi, I have to log into some systems and I don't think that's like 100% safe, but I'm not sure. It depends on the public Wi-Fi that you're joining. You shouldn't join all public Wi-Fi's because you could be susceptible to cyber attacks. <laughs> I consider public Wi-Fi to be relatively safe. I don't have any idea actually, I always connect and uh, I would like to get more information about this because I never discovered this topic. I use public Wi-Fi often and I personally don't worry that much about it and I think it's quite safe. Yeah. No idea. A keylogger. A keylogger is something that allows you to access um, various passwords, at least uh, if you want to go inside of someone's computer, a keylogger will allow you because it uses multiple passwords in order to find which one it is. Actually, I don't have any idea about keylogger, so yeah, I don't know anything. Uh, when someone collect, collects my information online, I think uh, it's mostly about what I give permission to do. If I never like give my full consent on like giving my information to any system, then it cannot be used. I do not know all the information that is collected about me online. I think my telephone number and my email number can be collected by someone else. Types of information, probably where I'm from, my birthday, my name, uh, uh, what websites I'm accessing them, when I'm accessing them, how frequently I access them. Um, yeah, generally that's the type of information. My location would also be like one that's found online often. On Google Maps you can go on a certain part and unless you disactivate it, they always know where you're at and you can track every point that you've been in in a certain period of time. <laughs> I haven't used anyone else's ID card or never gave my to anyone else? <laughs> I mean, in the recent years, no, but when I was younger, yeah, we would switch ID cards in order to let friends into clubs or <laughs> get into clubs ourselves, especially if we had the same face. <laughs> yeah, I have used my parents' ID card when I was a teenager because there were some games that I couldn't play if I'm a teenager, so I just took their ID card. but. I got a permission from them, so yeah, they allowed me to play it. Okay. I think if someone use someone else's ID in online, that's identity theft. Yeah. Well, if someone stores my personal data, for example, if they hack my like bank codes or like bank numbers or like 
my ID information and like personal, like the security number or whatever. Physical or cyber well, identity theft is when someone takes your identity and uses it for their own benefits, whether it's to access your bank accounts or your records or mm, any types of records, honestly. Birth records, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm on social media, yes, and about deleting my information from there, I just hope that deleting my account will delete all the information that I keep there. Yes, I am on social media, Facebook and Instagram, and I do know how to delete my information on there. Mm, I am on certain social media, yes. How to delete my information? Depends on which site. They make it very complicated for you. And with the changes in EU regulation, technically you're allowed to, but since companies are based in various parts of the world, it becomes more difficult to actually know. Even if you do get you think you've deleted your information, you're not necessarily sure that it hasn't been stored in a giant data bank somewhere. I would not answer the question and I will probably do some criminal, like, I will inform someone about it, like authorities, about the issue. I would probably delete his message. I'd be like, hey cutie, come on over. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't usually get strangers asking me things online about where I'm living. Hasn't happened to me yet. Mm, probably would continue with Hey Cutie. <laughs> I have no idea what is crypto virus. I don't know what the crypto virus is. I haven't heard about crypto virus, but it sounds dangerous, I think, yeah. I don't think I know what a crypto virus is. I mean, Crypto from the word, like, it's encrypted, obviously, and hidden. A virus is any virus that's inside of the computer. So I'm guessing that it's a virus that's hidden within other files, especially when you download a file. Um, social engineering sounds like something that maybe some social media platforms collect data about people and create something based on that, maybe. Social engineering is a new concept for me. Social engineering is kind of like a way to construct who you are as a person without you, well, secretly being influenced without you knowing about it. Uh, no, I never used VPN, but I know some people who are using this, they're just trying to hide the, their IP address. Uh, maybe it's connected to some country restrictions. I just realized a few days ago that I have used VPN because I had this thing on my computer where I can watch uh, Finnish TV, though being somewhere else. Mm, I have used VPN. Um, usually VPNs are used to, in order to hide access of what you're doing on the internet. And it's usually used in cases of like um, when governments ban you from being able to access certain websites. So. Mm, I would like to know how to protect my identity more online. I know very little about cybersecurity, so there would be there would be a lot that I would like to know. I think include me, not many people care about the cybersecurity. I also personally think it's important, but I personally don't know that much and I don't know what even know what to learn. So, yeah. It would be nice to hack some <laughs> banks and steal a lot of money. I would hack the lottery numbers. Ooh, there's a few things that I could hack. Uh, maybe government files. I would like to know what's going on inside of governments that they don't really tell us about. You know, state secrets and whatnot. But we have other people do that for us. <laughs> Good hacker means bad citizen. <laughs> so I wouldn't like to hack anything. Um, I don't think so. I don't think that I have been scammed online. Uh, I got an email recently and the name was uh, PayPal. They had a really similar mm. PayPal uh, page, so I almost scammed. No, I don't think I've ever been scammed online, uh, at least in my recollection. I have not been scammed online. I've been lucky. My email password is something that I won't tell you. <laughs> I will not tell. Uh, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> uh, I have a safe word. I definitely don't have a password. 
at least that I'm willing to share with you.